Hello and welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm back for round two today. Streaming a little bit more because I just want to work on the challenge presented by the devs for the contest. If you haven't learned about the contest yet, they're, they made a special map that you must use, and you have to place a tribute to ingenuity somewhere on the map. I intend to put it over here, in the middle of this, and then waterfall things down. I like the Helix Mountain. I will mess with the Helix Mountain soon. But before I get to do that, I have to make a stable civilization. We're gonna get to 15, or we know it's not 15 anymore. They increased the number of things I have to do for them. What number is it now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18. Once we get to 18, we will do ridiculous things to this mountain. But that's going to require another district center, because this map is huge. Okay. So, we have them producing planks. Good. We are consuming those planks as soon as they arrive, but we're fine. Uh, we have five farmers, so that is good. Okay, we are down to 11 berries. We've almost consumed them all, and we probably won't ever consume those last 11. But that is totally fine if they never did consume those 11. That's a small number. Over here, I made a mistake in counting. So, I'm wasting a bunch of wood on a whole other level of this. <laughs> but it's fine. My beavers are fine. I have a sweet pupper coming to greet me. Yes, you are the cutest. I love you. Oh, you want me to throw the ball? You want me to throw your ball? No, you, you just brought it in here and I'm taking it away. Okay, mister, you can do that. If that is what makes you happy, I'm not gonna tell you no. Okay, so... This is going to take some time to, to run. I have no beavers in my lolly post. It's so strange. They have 30 openings and no one's taking them. They are on. Okay. That's just slowing everything up. Okay, I'm thinking we don't dilly-daddle on the wheat this time. So we're going to just tell them to get rid of these berries. They can do it in their own time. I'm not going to rush that. But I do think I should have more builders if they're going to be able to accommodate um, this type of behavior of taking out so many unique objects. So, builders up. Yes. Um. Do I just stick it here? Well, it's here now. Okay, I know I will need more storage in future. So I might as well start prepping for that. Go down a level on it, and then path across. 
this. Okay. We're just giving them a bunch of tasks they can work on. Not in their choosing, though I will upgrade the builder's hut. Because I'm giving them so many unique things to do all at once. And we've got plenty of wood. Mm. Okay, we're making gears. And... Where are they putting the gears? Oh, there's no worker here. Okay. Gotta pause all of these and force a beaver to work at the gear workshop. And we're just gonna keep pausing until we have the gear workshop built. There we go. I don't care specifically where the beavers go, just... Well, I specifically wanted them to go to the gear workshop, but I can't tell a beaver to go here. I just have to incentivize them to go there. Okay, this beaver is doing their job, clearing all this out. The beaver... Um, I'm not gonna use any of these berries. So I'm just going to tell them... Get rid of the berries. to save that tree even though it's totally not necessary to do so. Okay, and then that's too far away for the builders at this point. Oh, I've got such, so much wood. Oh, and these are maples too. Okay. Um, and these little beavers are sitting on their tails. Okay, um, I'm gonna tell you guys to go to Builder's Hut. Um, Builder's Hut. Wait, is it, did I not? Yeah, Builder's Oh, top one, okay. Nobody's there at the moment. Um, they all went to Inventors. That's my own fault. Okay. Uh. Nobody went to Builder's Hut still. Uh, they actually went to the hauling post. There we go. Now I've got beavers in the builder's hut. They have lots of tasks to do. And we are in a drought, so we're not going to get any more planks. That is fine. Okay, and they have not built this little alternate path yet. I'm actually going to move this up a notch so that I can get rid of this path and I'll let them go around the other way. It'll be a longer path for that, but it will provide a path for the uh, other map. Although... Uh, no. Yeah, because I'll just path over there straight, making it shorter for the higher level. I wonder if they're ever going to get to these. I made them top priority. They are not getting to them. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, I've staffed the thing I care about. I can allow them to become inventors again if they so choose.
Oh, does it light up like this if it's connected in some way, like power? There's no power. by pads. I swear you are once you build your own pads. Um, leisure. Yeah, let's put the rooftop terraces here. Double high. And then we can give them the option of going down either side. Extra planks, but I don't care. Oh, no, I can't do either side. Need more space than that. other direction. About face. There we go. And decorations. I care about which kind of decorations I give them. Um, aesthetics. They like shrubs, which I just gave them. Beaver statues and roofs. Okay. I will give you guys a variety. direction the beaver's facing. Here we go. Okay, and they want roofs. I will give them a roof. Okay, uh, decorations. the district center, but I will uh, let's not go for the big route yet. Um you know what we'll do the big one with the flat bit. Okay. So I can make these line up. Once we have a ridiculous amount of planks, we can use them as bridges. I can't build over them. And bridges won't connect that way. Okay, 
I'm not gonna expand beyond food capacity, well, water capacity yet. Food, we're doing good. Our limiting factor is water. They have started to build the large water tanks. They will get to it eventually. We just need the drought to end in a day. I'll put these at modest priority. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna put these up here too. Okay, so they will aim down this direction, their path will go up. Okay, so these are too high. So if I go one and one, and then stairs. All that will connect together. Okay. I like this. This is fun. And, and since I'm not going to use the ends of these yet, I am going to put more beaver statues. <laughs> okay, I'm happy. Just waiting on the water to come back so that they can start building my craziness again. That'll attend to their needs. We've got some receiving shrub. Okay, I don't have enough campfires for them. They are complaining about lack of campfire. So, well, I put those beaver statues in the way. That's okay, we can put the campfires over there. That should give them all of the campfire they desire. And then they can get around another way to the main dining hall. Okay, are the water wheels working yet? No, not yet. Soon. Okay. Water wheels are working now. Next beaver day, we will be able to start getting to it. And they're starting to clean out all of these berry bushes. Oh, I have not much all of them. They must have grown in the time it took to label them all. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're getting to all of them. Slowly but surely. Okay, four large water barrels will be a good improvement to my water system once I have that in place. the other fireplaces, or camp, campfires. There you have priority to get that done. Uh, but most of them are actually making to the campfire. Okay, shrubs are not being utilized as much. Roofs have not been built, nor have theater statues. Once they build their rooftop terraces, then we'll, we'll be in business. Okay. I think I should increase my plank production. I think the beavers desire that. Okay, so. I'm not going to take out this ramp down until they've built these. So I'm making these ones high priority. As well as this. So that I can take out this path and then put the um, lumber mills all across here. Oh, I also haven't told them I want all this power yet. anything else priorities until they have successfully made this little platform. Okay. Almost there. solid, okay. I'm going to raise up these so that power gets connected. And so I was going to put in lumber mills here, but I should actually leave that open so that I can have piping. Yes, I do want to build this. Um, actually, don't build this platform. So we need to go down and over, not just down. Okay. I'm just going to rip this out. I don't need it. I don't need this. Okay. 
minus priority on these stairs just so they get done. Okay, um, actually, no, don't build those stairs. I shouldn't have bought, built these stairs either. We have the planks, we can do this right. There, prettier. Okay, now the power can go down. Okay, and how wide is the river at this point? We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it doesn't matter which way I really do it, I'm still going to miss out. Um, again are uh, two by threes. I don't know why it took me that long to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and three. to bump up the priority on the gear works before we tell them to build everything else. <laughs> gear and we have oh we, we, we've got all the materials we just need a builder in the morning and we'll have a large water tank then i'll feel more comfortable improving my population side there we go and it's getting filled already They are going to town on this water tank. Okay, they've... We're receiving the power from these parts. We have a supply of a thousand. We're gonna use all that. No question on being able to use a thousand. <laughs> okay, and then make this the wheat section. Except for providing path and I'll put the baking supplies in the water. Leave space for decorations. Um, might as well extend the path and farmhouse. And point the farmhouse in this direction. We've got the science. Now it's one bakery to 
for every two first moves. And the bakery is a two by three. the river. Might as well join the paths. Power. Oh, food. And for now, we are going to just go straight on. Obviously, change my mind about this later. There. That'll get done. Okay, almost ripped out all of those berries. These berries, on the other hand, continue to breed. Faster than they're being removed. Well, not faster, but fast enough. Okay, and I don't need these marks for removal. That'll just happen. And this beaver is transporting water out. Why are you not We're just gonna get rid of those 13 logs. They, we don't need them. We don't want to keep that beaver employed there forever. Okay. I still have no unemployment. Okay, and looks like they have built enough of this section that I can start ripping parts of it out. Okay. And they're taking their time on other bits. That is fine for them to take their time. Looks like they're building this path from below. Okay. I have not built these wooden stairs yet. Water supply is now at a thousand, which means I can support 50 beavers during a reasonably length drought. So let's increase our population. I've already unlocked the triple lodge, which is what I'm going to be building from here on out. Let's just put them along this app. Might as well have a lumberjack fly clear out some of this maps. Okay. 
you can cut down all of these dead trees. If you do, that would be nice, Mr. Beaver. Okay. How happy are my beavers now? Only three have been shoved recently enough to get credit for it. <laughs> okay. Um, they're saying we don't have rooftop terraces. I'm saying you totally do. You just haven't built the things to get to them yet. Because you want more planks. So I've ordered more planks. Oh, and these have not been built because they require gear and we have been through the drought. Gears will be sent to them shortly. Oh, it's because this is at the same priority level and it's taking up all the gears. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do water priority over. More lumber. I am fine with that decision. Okay, should I just make an avenue along here? Uh, let's see, that was 27. Yeah, that'll get me to 60 beavers. Okay, that's fine. We're just waiting for a drought to end. Then we'll get all these other things built eventually. It'll be nice. No beavers have chosen to work at this farmhouse. That is fine. It is not a priority yet. I might do more wheat over here. Yeah, let's do farming on this side. How far are we from the district center? We are at Red Path. But it's not uber red, it's just lightly red. So we're still fine to do more farming. Farmhouse. Uh, let's do path first. There. I want this lined up for me. And then putting stairs in here is trivial compared to planks across building a whole wharf. Okay. Wheat. Wheat. Farmhouse. Um. Yeah, sure. We'll just put, put one in for now. Eventually, we'll make bread a lot faster than my last run. I kept putting it off and off and off. What's the radius on a shrub? Oh, it is tiny. It's 
so tiny. <laughs> It'll be a while before that gets done. It'll get done. Over here, we have water returning. That means we'll get planks and gears again soon. I don't need them to build this. Or this. Okay, and then they have indeed built up too high here. I can get rid of these levees. Okay. So once we get more planks, we will be able to clean this out. Wheat's getting ready to be harvested. Okay. Are all of these sent set to planting? They are now. Okay, we're starting to get wheat, but we have no power for it yet. That's okay, we'll get there. Uh, the blueberries continue to expand their territory. I continue to fight against their expansion. Okay, I've got some beavers working on it. It'll get there. And they have a puppy under the kit. He's a sweet, sweet puppy. Yeah, you're my favorite. Can you help you? Yeah, he's my cuddle buddy. Okay, and we don't even have a guy in this lumber mill. Let's force him. And the lumber mill is not fully staffed. Okay, so all of those are off. Inventors. One of you will go to the lumber mill. There we go. <sighs> Keezy went to the lumber mill. Years are being consumed. Yeah, I'm actually. I want more play. I am going to say do this first. I need plank to make play. Okay, good. One of them got built. You guys gonna build the other one for me? There's a gear in play. Will be taken to the right spot? Yes, okay. Good. And now, closest one 
gets built first. Well, love, why are you going underneath the bed? You're so cute when you do that little army crawl with your butt hanging out. You're so cute. But you're not supposed to be under the bed. Okay. All our planks and gears are being consumed at the rate at which they're produced. Who presses this thing? Okay, it's just waiting on gears. All my gears are going to it right now. That is fine, that is desired. I have not built any roofs yet. <laughs> okay, my wood supply is still at 300. So, they really just need more avenues to, to spend the, the wood. And I want that to be planks right now, please. Please be plank. We will need lots and lots of plank. And then we're gonna start storing them close to this thing. Oh boy, are we gonna use plank. Okay, so this is the limit that I can build at. Okay. At least for this district center. That is pretty close to the mountain. I wonder how much higher you can actually build from this mountain. You can figure that out. Interesting. I can't even try in place. They changed that. Okay. So, monument does not fit. Oh wait, I need to do it 3x3, three three, don't I? In order to properly test it. have the science. But I know it's seven, so it's not much higher above here than what I was thinking it would be. Okay, um, go up here. How many more? Okay, that is top. One, two, three, four, five. So 15 above that spot, but that spot is at what point in the tower? Okay, that looks like one off of there, so minus four. So 11 above the top of this is how high we can build. We will have fun with it, too. Do when I tell you. Okay, right now we're just getting our civilization going. Once I know I can support a greater population, I will make a district center over here and start climbing the helix and clearing out all of the, the, the wood. We're gonna get rid of all of that quickly. I guess I can start doing that now. 
Okay, where does District Center end? Sure. Here. That is... Oops, I need to... Okay, straight on from there. It ends here, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so if I place a lumberjack flag up here. That's not close enough to actually get to it. Okay. We're not there yet. We will be. And leave my path out to the max, just so I know where it is. Because I can still put a farmhouse that end here. Okay, potato production starting to take the lead over grilling of the potatoes. I do have a watch in the grill, but the ratio is not off severely yet, so we can keep it as is. Some wheat is coming into play, but mostly they are ignoring it, which is fine. Okay, lumber mills. Let's force some workers into them. Inventors only have three. Okay, where do I take a worker from? I'm not going to take it from the farmhouse. Water pumps. We don't need all of these. Water okay. Did that get these? Nope. Lumberjack flag. Okay, our thing is full. These guys are just sitting on their tails. Go work in lumber mill. Uh, nope, that wasn't enough. Okay, so... Where are all my lumberjack flags? Okay, I want this one active. You are cutting, right? Yeah. If there was a beaver there, he'd be cutting. Uh, this lumberjack flag isn't even built yet. Okay, you're never gonna get this tree. There. I really don't need trees up to here. But I'm not going to, to leap them yet. Okay, so, now I only have one dude in a lumberjack flag. That is fine, because my wood production isn't the issue. It's trying to consume it all. Okay, they all went to inventors. Uh, lumber mill is not being staffed. Come on. I need two more farmhouses. I have so many farmhouses. There we go, lumber mill. Now I can let them work in places like this again if they decide to do so. I just needed the plank now.
for making planks. And I've got seven builders if you include district center, so that is fine. And they're putting all the planks into work over here. Okay. That is acceptable behavior. This has been the longer project in waiting, so that is okay. Okay, they're, they're chewing through all the planks super fast. Five beavers now have seen shrub free for me. <laughs> Oh. Beavers, you have the planks in stock. <laughs> okay, they finally built this alternate path. I can get this one out. There we go. And now this is in place. Good. Now I can tell it to do 2.5. Unpause these water pumps because they are about to become flooded. They are already flooded. Good. Okay, water. Water pumps. There we go. Now they can do this, just so it's off of my mind, I'm gonna tell them, do it, tell my soon, please. Okay, that'll give me less of a worry about getting enough water for everybody. Okay, they're stuck. Finally starting to build the rooftop chairs. <sighs> and drought, so no more planks for a little bit. That's okay. My builders have plenty to do. They have 26 planks in stock. I do want a priority put on utilizing their housing. That way, like, it's just sitting there. It's not doing anything. Granted, a lot of things are just sitting there not doing anything. But these ones were actually built and they weren't using them. And, of course, they ran out of planks before they could finish the stairs. That is not a surprise. Okay, water and food 
Y'all are both doing good. Waiting on a drought. They haven't put the logs in for these yet, but they also cannot access them because no stairs. Well, there are stairs over here. It they can't go through. They should be able to walk under these though, but the distance. Yeah, that just isn't gonna work. Fly with them. Okay, but we have finally gotten this set up in place. That is good. Okay, and now we're going to make it a little bit bigger. We're constantly building and destroying this wall, but I just want to not overexert things and fail and... Okay, um... One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna build all the way up to here. And... yeah. Has the pump go here? Building, building path. Damn. Okay, pump. Building, building path. Damn. will give... Uh, well, I really shouldn't. I don't want to narrow this whole water and into one spot. We'll probably get flooding if I do that. Don't want to get flooded. So I can just go this way instead. We'll do a lateral move. Okay, so I won't need to include this wall in spacing. I'm only going up one so I can go up here and then flat out for the pipe. It'll fit. I know it will. So we just want to extend out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll have a little bit of extra tank space. I hope they can build this far. How far from the builder's hut are we? Oh, we're already at red there. Okay, um... I think I need to give them another route through. Okay, um... I go straight from here. This is already pretty straight. I didn't lose much going across that way. It's not quite straight. I lost one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I lost ten going across that way. We're going to do another path through. We're going to do the path from here. Just because it feels like the right place to do it from. Whether it's actually the right place or not, we'll eventually know. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want the platform there. Okay, I actually want this to go up one. Because every time we build, 
little bit out. We need to make it a little bit further. Okay, yeah, that should reach. And if it doesn't reach, we'll just turn it at the appropriate spot once we've learned how far it can actually go. We do not need to build the uh, levee here, because we're just going to rip that out anyway. And this path can go. Um, and then I can do stairs up and over. Well, that's only a temporary solution. I need to spiral two different staircases up in here. Yeah. This actually needs to get one wider. Give it space to breathe. And they can do that in whatever order they want, and we'll learn what they can do as it grows. Okay, so we reserved a gap three wide. Yeah, that's reasonable. Now we have this as a starting point for water. That's such a long way to build. Okay, I am out of wood. Just about. So we need to make sure my beavers are working the lumberjack flags. If I have nobody in the hauling posts, they just love to be in the inventors. There we go. Okay, they are busy now. Good beavers. I'm surprised that they went straight for this path but ignored these two, when those ones are five level. Please uproot. Okay, my builders are not keeping up with deletion of blueberry bushes. That means I need more builders, but I don't have more people, beavers, because they are not building this last little bit of stairs to access their housing. The drought just ended, so the water bill should turn any minute now. We'll have that little bit of critical infrastructure soon. Well, not critical, but semi-critical. Highly useful, I should say. So... Uh, 
in order to do this, I have to build a loop. And I'm not going to do that until I have enough plank in stock to just shove all my beavers that direction. Okay, we've built the stairs. We will have more beavers soon. Food and water are great. And I bet they still can't get those rooftop terraces. Yep. Oh, but more enjoying the shrub. Lumber mills are fully staffed. They have, most of them have logs. Okay, I have the wood supply, but the beavers are not bringing the logs to the lumber mill. Because I have no haulers. Okay. Well, they they just made 11 children overnight. So. Oh, they got busy real fast. When those 11 kids grow up, we will be in a much better situation with staffing. Okay. Oh, they're putting all the planks to use on the roofs. So right now... Oh, they're already enjoying the roofs and the beaver statue. And the shrubs went up because they were building this thing. Okay. Oh, and we reached 10. And then, and then, because they got to use rooftop there. It's finally. Oh, these beaver statues have a good radius. Okay, I have 3,000 science. Do we want to do a form of progress? Or a labor monument? Let's, let's do flame of progress. It costs a ridiculous amount of materials, but... It'll get done. Okay, now do I want to stick it in that little corner where it feels right? Or over here where it's more useful? We can stick it here for now, where we'll get all the rooftop terraces. Okay. And we're not going to put a priority on it. It'll just happen. And then once we get to a thousand science, which we're already halfway to, we can stick a labor mon monument around and uh, they'll get that bo bonus as well. They seem to have forgotten about this whole wheat situation. It's okay. They're using all of the planks they have. It'll get done eventually. <sighs> mm. 
Okay, double checking. Yeah, they can't access this. Um, our water is so good that I will do the risky move and block them from this temporarily. I say with the giant grin of nervousness on my face. I don't want them to be able to access this. They, they can go around. Okay. Now. I need to provide them a way to... Get... Uh, okay, so if I make this spot the up... It's not going to be where I actually want it to be. Oh, tricky, tricky. While the two does stack over that, it doesn't actually get me any progress. I'm just gonna have to actually make this wider and chew up all that wood I just spent. You guys, don't build this yet. So, if I do another layer over, then I can go down and it'll be fine. I just need to give them a little bit more space. Cost me anything to move a path. There we go. Triple, double, single. Okay, and then we are going to Toby. And then we still have this wall in place, so we can just remove this whole bit. Okay, now, over here, we're going to have multiple paths for them to go. But there's going to be the main corridor here that I want them to have access to. Wait, no, I actually don't need that. Oh, risky, risky. I wish it said how many objects. Okay, so. We need an entrance in. Go down. And then it'll be fine. There. I couldn't just go down here because then I would cut off this layer, which we don't want to do. And if we had gone straight 
down into here, we would have, again, cut off the lower level instead. So we needed to make it this much wider. Much to my shrugin. 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 Chagrin. There we go. I can word. We're still safe on water. We've got our giant water tanks. Floods haven't... Droughts haven't been that long. But I just feel nervous not having this in place. Please do. Please build. Get that stairs. Yeah, I got that stairs. Okay, droughts come in three days. We have a thousand water and carrots built up. We also have a thousand science. So we can get that labor monument put down. And I just feel like I have to put one over here too. Not necessary over there, but just feel like I should. That'll chew up some wood real fast. We have 63 beavers. Yes. Progress. Okay. How happy are my beavers? They want bread. Okay. I will give you bread. After you build this wall for me. I'm not going to make it more than a light green. Getting to it, good beavers. Uh, Hauling Post has 11 beavers now, okay. We finally have haulers doing their hauler thing. Okay. Now that they're building this. And they have it built up to a high enough height that I feel safe removing this row because I'm well, intended to remove this row. It just it feels better to not have it. Okay. Now we needed a platform at that height. Provide more than one way down now. Okay. My beavers have options now. And just because it's fun, beaver statue. Make sure that all of this is green all the way to the floor. Okay, except for the beaver statue, that one does not need to be a top priority. <laughs> uh... Okay, we'll build this eventually. Oh, 
they finally got that tree. Let's see if they'll ever get to this tree now. I am true and through wood. Oh, I love watching them swim. Good beavers. Okay, they are going to town on the potatoes. That is good. Oh, they have built the platforms. For the wheat. Okay, now that they've built... Nope, they haven't built this yet. Once they build this, I will then give them expedited commands to build the um, wheat. Uh, hey, hey, the new community map here now. Uh, yeah, the challenge map. I, I want to participate in the contest. I, I have fun plans for this. Elix Mountain. Fun plans indeed. I just, I need my civilization functional and stable first, and then I will work on that. I've got ten of the things done so far that they want. I think the last map we were on was what challenge. Oh yeah, it was definitely a harder map to start on. I had to I had a couple of false starts because I just died of thirst. Uh, but this map gave you a lot more initial resources with a bunch of wood over here, wood over here, wood down here, wood over here, all sorts of berries. It was not as big of an issue on this map to start. The challenge on this map is to beat out other players and make it pretty. That's the challenge on this map. It's an aesthetic challenge. And they can reach there when they desire to do so. Oh, they, they probably want stairs here. I'll speed them up. Okay, now we will work on bread. Okay, get me bread, please. Uh, my plan is to use platform in the huge crater and lead water from the close water source down there and have main settlement on platform over water. Okay, so main crater, meaning this main crater. And three to four district on the side for wood and food. Yeah. My districts are all going to be temporary. Like, I... This water source up here is close and pretty straight. So I'll make another settlement eventually just to put water wheels in place uh, so that I can get power back on sooner after every drought because right now I have my water wheels connected to this huge amount of area for water that has to come all the way down from the spiral so I'm going to move these eventually to where I can get power faster. <laughs> but for now, I'm just in survival mode for this game. Uh, they have not decided to work on my monuments yet. Oh no, they're working on Flame of Progress. It's gonna take a while because we're in drought and all my power has shut down, but that's okay. Okay, what are we waiting on for these? Years, years, and years. Okay. 
Yeah, they've been spending all the gears and gears. I might as well improve my gear supply. Gears do require plank. That's okay. One, two, three, and four. I'm just overbuilding because these are practically free. Not really free, but space isn't the op limiter that was it was on the other end. <laughs> I can feel freer to just throw things down and then worry about pretty later instead of, oh no, I need this one more spot for another tree. Uh, this map, uh, so do start off easy with just one small dam to keep green area easy on reforming wood. Yeah. I built my dam diagonally this time and just gave them stairs to be able to access it. Uh, but I am overdoing my water system as usual just to make sure I don't run it. <laughs> Uh, you remember I told about having power lines under platform? Yep. I'm doing that over here in the water and it's functioning. I tested out they work underwater. Yep. I have them function here. They don't look like they're functioning at the moment because drought and the water wheels just aren't on. But once the water wheels turn back on, they will work. Okay. So now, what are we waiting on at the moment? We're still waiting on planks and gears. Long game, I don't need this many gears. What does this one require? Yeah, it only requires 200 gears. Once I get to the thing. Which I will get to. I have the test it as most buildings stop working from flooding. Yeah, most do. The, the thing that I don't under- that feels weird to me that doesn't work underwater are the large water tanks. These don't work when flooded. And it just blows my mind that they don't work when flooded. Because <laughs> they're just a giant- cup for the water and uh, and the water's the same color it's not like they're filtering it to get it over there oh no it does say filters i guess they're doing more than just extraction but it, yeah. Um, oh, happy my beavers. They, they want more roofs. I gave you roofs. Okay, fine. We'll give you guys more roofs. If I put this here here. That'll cover all of them, and then let's give them more fun. Okay. There. That'll appease you beavers. Uh, I sort of like to see a water wheel later on, like, ground only, that don't need a constant beaver working there, but the beavers that want to drink work a tiny bit there to pump up what they need. Uh, and a 
little bit confused with what you said. Get off type there. Uh, oh well. Not wheel. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that would be a nice feature if the beavers got around to that. That's more of the developers getting around to that. <laughs> oh, they're starting to work this corner. What color are you guys at? Okay, it's not red, it's just dark orange. Let's see if they can get all the way out here. Or not. really going through this wood supply. <laughs> oh, they've almost got up to here. And they can't reach that wood. Okay, I'll give them access to this wood. You've actually collected resources? I think you actually collected resources from that tree finally. Ah, <sighs> they finally got rid of that fine tree from fucking. <laughs> uh, I like a good old fashioned water wheel. Yeah. They're just fun. Yep, now you can see my gears all working. They don't care about the water. Okay, the drought is over. I have planks again. I don't have gears. Okay, in order to get gears, I need to up the priority on this. Uh, they're already in the eighth. They'll be done with the flame of progress. What about the labor monsters? Okay, they're halfway done on this one. Uh, pine trees can be good to have. Depends on water management and drought. Well, no. It wasn't that it was a pine tree that wasn't useful. It was a pine tree in the middle of my maple field that I told them to get rid of, and they wouldn't get rid of it. <laughs> It was the placement of that particular pine tree, not the concept of the pine tree. At times it's best to have trees that would be full grown between drought and not risk them uh, blooming in two seasons. Yeah, I right now wood's not an issue. It was just aesthetic. Because these trees, yeah, we're... We got some trees in the 90s here, about ready to go. So, yeah, some are popping up now. My beavers will get to them. They're cycling through. It's all good. Hey, we're halfway done with the labor monument. That's good. But they are putting it on hold for now to build my gear workshop, as I requested of them. building later on might be river logger and ones that bring logs down river. Well, they don't really need to do that because they're... they have the haulers. It would save some effort, but it would also cost some effort. 
and I wouldn't be able to do monstrous things to my river. And like, the game is centered around having these floodgates in place, so... Uh, the absence... That these would block the ability to do that. If the whole goal is to build dams, putting them down the river is not a viable solution entirely. Well, these two were never selected. Okay. That's why they weren't cutting those two. Would be good for some maps, the harder on other maps. Oh, yeah. Like, it would be fun to watch the logs float down the helix. Because there's so many logs up here. So many of But I have to do a whole other district in order to get that going, so right now I'm... Well, am I stable enough to do another district? Farmhouses, five... I need more workers in farmhouses. Okay, farmhouses are currently at five. Now we're at nine. There we go. One of the downsides of like that sort of work, it could be a risk of the log congesture to a block object. Yeah. How close are they on this thing? Okay, they did put it on pause so that they could build me these. And I have no workers in them. Uh, no, you did not go to your workshop. There we go. Your workshop. are working out on this map. Be sure. I haven't given them a temple yet. I should really give them a temple. And this is ground only. Okay, it fits here. Go in here. With the temple, if it fits, it sits. Uh, and do I want to give them another option over here for temple? Yeah, let's give them another temple option. I'm really spreading out on this map, which is leading to some inefficiencies. get done and now the carousel demands power all the way away from the river though larger map can be a challenge in itself due to work distance between areas yeah like I haven't forced them to have in a cafeteria just yet I was just expanding and making sure I had resources and beavers to utilize resources. Not going full all out on making them happy, but I just wanted to get the starting layout. It's like, I really should... 
tile record power up and over here, closer to everything else. But instead, I am going to put the Ferris wheels, not Ferris wheels, carousels, over here. Um, yeah, I'll make them point to, no, I want them to point in the same direction. So we'll go out by, out to here. Decoration signs, carousel. Yeah, and open that path. Did it again. There we go. There's the five. Get power. There we go. Connect us these. Increase the priority on that. I actually want all of them out. I think that's already out. Um, and then, since they're going to be open for anyway, let's make the wharf prettier with. Rooftop terrace. Oh, it won't fit there because it's not actually on top of everything on all of its sides. Okay, fine, we won't take this one here. Yeah, one done I might will fix that for the future, but for now I'm not giving them as many options. I haven't unlocked dynamite on this playthrough yet. I will soon. Okay, good. They've the gears are going somewhere useful. no one working in them yet. Okay, once the second burst mill is functional, I will force beavers to work both of them. Okay, so... Taking care of their needs as they come. It is functional now. Did they go to the curse mill? They did not. Nope. There we go. You know what? Let's get dynamite. 400 and 600. Yeah, I've got the science. Okay. For now, we only need one of these going. We can hide it in here. Yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll give it access in this direction. It goes to that one. Landscaping. Okay. 
They can do that one at their leisure. Okay, they finished the film of progress. Have they seen it yet? Some of them have. We'll get that little bonus up higher notification soon. And they're still complaining about ropes. Guys, I gave you them to build. It's not on me, it's on you. Oh, they still don't have power. Because the beavers are not getting to them. Top priority. There we go, 11. Okay, everybody's seen the Flame of Frog. And more of them are enjoying their roofs as they're closer to those buildings. Campfires are lagging, that's okay. They're going to them right now. They're, they're enjoying their things. I can't complain about no path now. Oh, we're out of plank. We're in a drought. Yeah, that'll take them some time before they can have their bread. Okay. So since they've run out of planks, I bet they're working on this labor market. They are. How are the temples coming? They are not coming yet. But they have plenty to work on for them. So they were just all in the campfires. Okay, most of them are getting that benefit. Not that that matters too much, because that's just reading speed, and I'm at max capacity on my building, so they don't need to be doing that anyway. Um, oh right, they want books as well. How close to making books am I? 250, 400? Yeah, that's not a problem. Oh yeah, I need paper anyway for the dynamite. Okay, so... Paper... Do another one. to want to be able to reach these. Okay, uh, we can just wrap around. Are they able to reach that? Yeah, they're able to reach that. They're not happy about it, but they can do it. Okay, now that it's drought, they're going after the blueberry bush. It's been a, a battle. I keep telling them to get rid of blueberry bushes and then grow more blueberry bushes. <sighs> I tell them to get rid of more blueberry bushes. But yeah, these ones? They're there, they just... Keep growing. Uh, 
I start out trying something to speed things up. Custom game with 1,500 berries, 1,500 water, and 50 beavers to start off with. Got a lot of beaver, but still need a lot of woods to be able to generate workplace for them. The paper mill is in good range once the platform comes down. Yeah, I've been increasing my uh, beaver population only when I have a store supply of uh, the number of storage divided by 20 to be the number of beavers I produce. Right now, my food is lagging behind. It's because I'm making all of this wheat, but there's no power to produce the bread. This will not be an issue in just a little bit. They've actually eaten some of the berries. They ate six of them. I had 11. Let's see, all of these things I'm building, they, they, were, they were wood only, correct? Wood, wood. Oh no, printing press does require metal, and I don't have metal yet. So no libraries yet. I need to put the printing press in special locations. Um, same thing with tribute to ingenuity. I can't move that later. Because metal's not renewable. Ah, uh, you're going to boost your farms with beehives? Yeah. But I need paper first. I didn't boost them on the last map. That was an oversight. I don't need to do that, but it's nice to do that. Let's just put those in place now. Okay, so... They are ripping things out. I know that it's three wide is optimal on from the center, so it's seven by seven areas, but I'm gonna place them artistically and not worry about it. Overkill on the beehives, but I want to make it pretty. Right, we're not going to put it here because that'll eventually be a little dock. missing a little bit of space. But I don't need to cover those little bits of space. It'll be fine without it. I mean, the beavers wouldn't actually put them in a perfect grid if we were talking about real beavers here. They would divide it out and space them out somewhat like this, I would assume. What's this bar that says Global View? Oh. Okay, that's a, that's a new feature. Helps you find things. That tab would be more disc- Yeah, that's what I assumed. I just- Well, I assumed that once I saw District 1 label. I was hoping it would let me zoom out further. I can't zoom out further than I am right now. 
because this map is just so big. I want to see more of it at once. Oh, wait, I clicked something. What did I just click? Pine tree. Okay, I just selected a pine tree. <laughs> Not new in this patch. Oh man, I just didn't notice that thing before. Okay. We have running water again. The beavers are finally getting to this gear system so they can have bread. And what will spears at? What will bread give them again? Carrying speed, okay. There we go. They're fully staffed and we're making bread. Okay. We have bread. Now that we already have a thousand wheat stock, we're ready to go. Okay, my carrots are still lagging behind. I should give them more carrots. We did space out that we can put a farmhouse here. It was that the bread. It was bread. Oh, and labor monument. They finished one. Both of them, actually. Has there become the temples yet? No, they haven't. That's okay. their grill to get all their potatoes in. Okay, I can give them another grill. They're already on it with beavers. Right now, without paper supply, they are just being lazy and. Well, not lazy. Um, I've actually reduced the amount of food I can produce because I've taken out spaces to put beehives in. <laughs> That'll change once I have paper. And because that's an important thing at the moment. Oh, we are going to increase this. Oh, but I can't. I have to build all of this in order to get over here because my power goes through here. Okay. You guys are getting carousels sooner. a lot of ruins around. Oh yeah. Uh, at least you don't need to worry much about metal. Yeah, but it's not like... Okay, so there is metal here, clearly, but it's not like this is entirely filled with metal. Like, there's, there's chunks. I know there's chunks. But... I can't do everything I want to do. 
Interesting, they stop growing right at the line. Oh man, this, these trees, they're, they're breeding like crazy. Maybe a lot of effort just to clear these trees out of the way. Oh yeah, there's this nice city over here. I like this city. And I like the touch the developers did to deliberately put rolling green bits on the um, ruins when it's in range of water, but they're not there when it's out of range of water. That is a lovely touch. You know what? These ruins might be enough for what I want to do. Might be. I know there's bits up here too. And, and it's just cute how they hid things. <sighs> so many trees! <laughs> So many trees on this map. <sighs> See, looks like this was intended to be a, a river at some point that went dry. It's so huge. There's no way I'm covering the whole map. Okay. The valley could be a nice reservoir if you build up and channel water towards it. Yeah, this... It could be. It looks like it's meant to be a, a reservoir. Uh, it looks like I just need to cover this bit over. And then it'll fill up. We just need to get a water source to it, which might mean patching over this way, which I could totally do, and I think I will do that. Uh, but I need another district to block this off first. So that's a whole other can of worms you just opened up there. <laughs> I mean, like, southeast in current camera angle. Okay. Southeast. Oh, this valley? Where they have the little hidden ruins? Um. Because this would be an easy spot to dam over. But the closest. There's water here. So I would have to channel it over. Yeah. Cut through this angle. Which, again, is a whole nother district to do that. Because this map is so big. Okay, so they are working their way toward the <laughs> going through the carousel first. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Such an efficient plan. I could have just done gears down and then connected, but I I think it's funnier to first do the, the carousels first. Ah, uh, the lower section might be in range off the buildings. Uh builder's hut. Uh lower section. Oh, this bit? Yeah, but I still wouldn't be able to get the water there. Because uh, we're already red here. They really do not want... Well, no, I'm green if I go this direction. <sighs> okay. Uh, temporary path. For science. Okay. You are right that I could access this part of the dam. 
but I still need to get water into it. Oh, I know the red line will get better here, but I went around this way. Oh, that's what you guys wanted to finish off those berries? You wanted paths? Such picky beavers. Okay. You guys get paths. Picky, picky beavers. I guess I can have them start clearing off this berry patch. Okay. Uh, but not... I want to harvest the trees, not remove them. Uh, at least path is free and instant, otherwise having them so close and everyone just removing things would be a hassle. Oh yeah. I'm very glad paths are free. I'm actually surprised paths were free. I am out of wood. Do I have beavers in my lumberjack flags? Yeah, I have seven beavers in lumberjack flags. But not the ones up top. But they are getting to these just as they get juiced. That is fine. This beaver, you completed your task. Go work somewhere else. Okay, so, and then this beaver completed his task, he can go work somewhere else. Okay. Oh yeah, they're gonna be so picky about this last one. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Okay, so I only have a thousand food. We need larger food production than we're at right now. I told them to bake the potatoes. And I told them to make a farmhouse. It is within range. They just don't want to do it. I might as well put in another grill and put all the grills together. Make it look pretty. I'll have four. I'm not going to need four. Um... We'll expedite two of them. And storage. I should use the underground storage to this map. Uh, at least in things in building Q would. Oh, yeah, a list, definitely. So that I know what they're actually going for, and then turn that specifically down. But I also know, yeah, I told them to do this. I told them to do it. And they're chewing through all of their planks to do so. And gears. Oh, I need metal blocks! Okay. The game knew me too well. It is making me work around its restrictions. It knew I didn't want to do that. Or I wanted to 
get things sooner than it wanted to give it to me. Okay. Fine, we're gonna get our paper mills sooner. And go get some metal. There is no metal close enough to this district to collect it right away. But I'm going to try. Okay, my district is here. I... Yeah, might as well just go. Go for it and see how far I get. a path around. Let's make this top priority and see if they get to it. How far they get before they just say, no, you need to give me a better path. And foreseeing that they're going to require a better path, uh, I don't have the money yet, the, the science yet, to get the giant suspension bridge. But I can start going up. See, I didn't build anything more than one more higher in this straight away. So now, bridge. Wait, put that. Okay, so. I just want to get over these two decorations. That's one, two, three, four, five. I can see this the one that's five long. It's what I've got. Okay. This requires metal. Why does it not want to be built? This should be what it wants. Why is it complaining? Light green. Will it go in other directions? Do you want to be one further away? Did I miscount? <sighs> Why is it not want to be up against it? I was able to build right up against them before. Fine. Oh wait, no, that's a, the wrong height. Yeah, it doesn't like this particular direction. It's fine with the other ones. It's just being finicky. It's okay, but the spot above them is acceptable to me to be built up as a platform. Wait, it still doesn't like it?
Okay, do you know the reason why this doesn't... Um, once you have a warehouse, you could delete and relocate your warehouse. It's a bit cheese, but you can do the trick. Maybe a small statue is too high. But I'm not even going over the statue. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a double high. Because it's happy when it's a little bit higher. It doesn't make sense. <sighs> but... This will be the shortest route over here if they manage to get some scrap metal. Just the first bit of scrap metal, please. pretty sure they're not going to build this until after I've scrap metal, so trying to shorten my route just this teeny bit isn't going to make much of a difference. But maybe they will take this route for the funsies to get from the farms to the campsite. It's not a good route. But maybe they'll do it. <laughs> At the very least, I've provided them another route that might be just a little bit shorter if they take this down. Um, can't get required materials planks. I don't have any planks in stock, so that's probably why. At least we're yellow at this point. We'll see how far they get eventually. But it's kind of hard to give them a shorter route than this. I wanted this lower, but they flew a hissy fit about that. Okay, and then it's two close in order to go straight up there with the ladder. But I, I could work if this was the one. No, it won't it won't accept from the side. It's a dead end. <laughs> one medium or larger map, I prefer to make a straight line so that right away and then make like grid from that. Yeah, I had plans for a grid on the last map, but the map was too small to do a grid. So now I'm letting that grow semi-organically so that when I work on this thing, I'll have all the resources and not worry about resources and then I will have a better gridded system for it. But I need to figure out the rules on why bridges are being so finicky. Okay. So, basic needs are good, nutrition's good, social life's good, aesthetic, they're finally happy with their root situation. Um, they want their tribute to ingenuity. I don't have metal yet. That's gonna wait. Carousel requires metal. That's gotta wait. Books require metal. That's gotta wait. Okay. We are on the need for metal. <laughs> and 
and I've made this top priority, but we are in drought, so we have no planks. We gotta wait to see how far they can get to it. Okay. I'm just gonna lay out my uh, printing presses because I know I'm gonna stick them here. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, that worked. It's like I've got this pseudo grid going on. You know what? I should give them another connection here. There, they can get around better now. Okay, and right, the explosives factory requires metal block. Everything I need now requires metal. Including the printing presses? No, not including the printing presses. The paper mills. Paper mills do not require metal blocks. Um, we are just waiting on a gear and planks to get these going. They know priorities will get to it. Okay. Um, alternative uh, demolish the houses next to the district and relocate the houses. Yeah, they were never meant to be permanent. That would make it shorter, but... I kind of want them to stay for a little bit longer. Yeah, because this is a terrible route around. You were right. Okay. I'll make you guys other beds somewhere else. There. Uh, this house, it can get something on its roof. Let's give them happy. So now, district center goes straight to this builder's hut. Uh, we can relocate the builder's hut. Where do we want to stick it? That was never a good spot to begin with. Wow. You know what? Let's stick it by the laborers' monument for the fun of it. <laughs> it can get moved around as we please. Straight on is here. I feel like this path should be some benches.
And we've only gone over by two, which we have to get over anyway, no matter which movies we're going after. So that's as direct a path as these beavers will make from the district center to here. I will take out this path only once they've built the other one. Uh, for the metal, if the metal flag is not right next to the ruins. Oh, I, I skipped some things. Uh, you almost got a direct path there on ground. I think the current path might work for the metal if the metal flag is not right next to the ruins. Yeah, there's a, there's a bonus nine spaces that these guys can work from where the district ends. So we will see how far they can actually get. The route has ended, but the water wheels are not turning yet. There is a delay, making the droughts feel extra long on this map. Another negative to the whole giant map situation. Oh wow, my food, carrots, and potatoes are almost even right now. But they are all way too small for my tolerance. How many farmers do I have? I have, not, I have nine farmers. That, that should be enough farmers. We have lots of potatoes. Oh, we just don't have beavers in these things. Okay. Uh, they were the grill? No. Grill? I said grill. There we go. That also guarantees all of these are filled. Okay. Okay. I've got all these beehives that are gonna just stay vacant for a long time until I get my paper. Because they require paper. And paper requires uh running water to get these gears going, and the plank, which they're filled. Okay. They will get to this soon. <sighs> the carousels do not need to be high priority. Oh, they finished this thing. Okay. Um... I do not feel safe removing this yet to replace it. I should build it over here first. Yeah. Before I've flooded water into here. Okay. Um, we'll stick it here. I meant one up from the bottom. Okay, they can get to that at their leisure. As well as starting work on the next chunk of these. Uh, okay. So we're already three high, so we're gonna do four high on this one. Whoops, no. They don't go there. They go one oak. It's 
last one will go here once it's safe to rip out this wall. It is not currently safe to rip out this wall. Um, and then this will be stairs up, but we're not going to do that until they've built the levee in place. Uh, one of the things I like with Iron Teeth, the water pump goes six blocks step. Oh yeah. This is the jankiness that you have to deal with when dealing with, um, uh, folk tales. But it's okay. I kind of like building ridiculous- Oh, they built these. They in range? Ah, oh, yes, they're in range! Okay. Go we'll staff them. Ugh, they didn't have enough beavers. Okay, um... We are getting our water from here. We don't need to also get our water from here. Did you guys go to Scavenger Flags? No. Did you go to Hauling Posts? Yes, you did. Okay, I need two more to go to Scavenger Flag. Um, let's take up from the Inventors again. Uh, there we go, six of six. My beavers have caught up on water wheel requests. That means it's time to make more. Okay, and they have made this path, so we will remove the suboptimal one. Yes, we're getting scrap! Okay, now we need the scrap metal processing plant. I might as well stick it here on the river. We'll go this way. Let's go the other direction. So we're getting co too close to over here. You might want to do fun things with this swath of land and not want to waste the metal. So we're going to work over here. Now. Uh, metal. Shredder. It is a chunky 2 by 3 2 3 2 3 and... Okay. And I just want all my shredders next to each other. Meant to do platforms. And we go one thicker. So we're actually not going to build this behind. And we'll go out the structure. And I need to tell them to get rid of this bit of wheat. Oh, I totally messed up on all of that. Some of that. Thankfully, they did not start putting the metal into those. Because they have no scrap to deal with yet. Okay. I've given them the orders to clear that out. I'm going to improve those orders. 
I'm going to move this farmhouse over here. I'm just going to get rid of it now. Less to think about and go back and check. Oh, did they do it? Did they not do it? Don't forget you got a few homeless beavers now. Right. Thank you. Okay. Where shall we let them sleep? I really don't like spreading everything out so much, but let's give them a waterfront view. Then that doesn't space out well. The little one fit. Okay, and more riverfront housing. Should I build one, two, three? Yeah. We're gonna do two of them here. Now I need to provide them a way to get up. Okay, they can go up that way. We're just going to do two layers across. And now to get down, I can go this way. What are they waiting on for this giant storage? Planks and logs. I'm going to move this up a tad in the list of things to do. Because all of my storage is full. Let's build some storage over here for each of these things to have access. We're actually going to move this out one. I guess paint for the first time things in these spots. And continue the line. It will bug me if I don't. So I don't know if I should remove the farmhouse or just let the beaver be it, his little beaver self and enjoy being more covered in grip in nature. Okay. So now, storage. I'm going overkill on the storage, and I'm maintaining grid. as well. Storage for the shredders and then these food items. There, that'll take them some while to build. Yeah, that's probably why my food's not going up because so much more of my space is being taken up by raw resources like uncooked potatoes. Okay. So, this one? Okay. They finished that 
our food should go up again because they just needed a place to put everything. Okay. So yeah, they were not getting to this field over here. We'll put this as a moderate up. Now that they built that one, I'm going to do every other of these. One for me. Chum. Okay. That should be good now. My food will rebound once they have a place to put all of the food. Oh yeah, I almost made that mistake of not giving them a place to put it. Yeah, if all your farms are full, then it's going to slow down the harvest quite a bit. Yeah. All my farms were full and slowed down the harvest quite a bit. Okay, I already told you two things there. No beavers in it right now, but yeah. The farmers are doing things again. They are making beelines to the storage. Yeah, okay. They really wanted that. That was hampering my growth significantly. Okay, I do have beavers in here. Um, for my current population, this is not enough for them. They want more. Okay, and I've already said that this is Shredder Zone. So I can build more food on the other side. Actually, I can build the food here. It's already the network right here. Okay, so food. Uh, real smith. Yeah, because the bakery itself is keeping up with the production of two of these. is obnoxiously the other direction. Okay, and then I just need power. I believe it's at the right height to just go across. give my beavers the option to swim to build, but no extra pad. Because this little thing might be fickle. Your food spiked almost 1,000 units right away. Oh yeah, it did. That's what they needed. They needed the store for the food. Okay. So we've got plenty of food now. I want to give them more water options. Oh, of course it doesn't face the direction I want it to. Okay. That's fine. No biggie. Uh, I ha have a good night, day, morning, or whatever. Uh, time zone you're in and head off to bed. Have a nice stream and good luck with the content. Thank you, you too. Uh, I prefer the, the phrase of, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, good night. If you remember the Truman Show. But 
I generally do wish you also a good night. Uh, I'm going to sign off in like half an hour-ish whenever the puppy comes in and says it's bedtime. Because he has a biological clock <laughs> that's way more in tune than me. He always knows. Okay. So... We have 258 scrap, but we have not produced metal blocks yet. This is printing press. Shredders. Okay. Uh, metal, shredders, okay. I'm going to increase the priority on shredders. Oh, is the puppy coming and saying it's bedtime? Okay. I guess it is bedtime. You always know when bedtime is. Okay, I will sign off. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed your company. I have a puppy to take care of. Thanks for watching. <laughs>